Welcome back to our partner series, Connectivity for the New Reality. Uh, my name is DR Carlson, and once again, I'll be joined by Paul Johnson. Today, we're going to look at the deep dive of Deploy. If you uh, had the opportunity to join us last time, Paul and I walk through the deeper dive of assess and prioritize the first two steps of optimization. And today, we're good again, we're going to look at that third step, which is the aspect of Deploy. So yeah, if you did get the opportunity to join us last time, where we left off after prioritize was we had a, a future go forward vision of where we want to end up with a prioritized list of steps to take to get to that vision. So this is a, a quick visual of what that vision might actually look like. And you can see some of the steps that we want to start taking, you know, establishing new edge locations, connecting to the cloud uh, for our on-ramp to the cloud, further solidifying our remote user access. These are, these are all potential steps, but part of that is, you know, deploying your new edge locations. Um, and what those edge locations might look like is what is here on this slide. And one of the, one of the big points that we talked about last time was this idea that who you connect to matters. Again, everybody um, out there is trying to connect to you know, more people in more locations with more devices to more information. And what we're looking at here is a deployment inside of Equinix, which gives uh, individuals the ability to connect to countless network service providers uh, all over the world, as well as uh, leading cloud service providers, SaaS providers, and individuals that they need to connect to within Equinix from various industries in which they work. Uh, and one of the things that I want to, to call out here is a lot of the components on the, the left and the right of this slide are going to be common regardless of which deployment method you choose, but you do have two primary deployment methods with which to choose from. The customer cage on this slide represents a physical footprint where you are installing hardware inside of the Equinix data center. The network edge component is our a virtualized network function environment to where you can actually do a virtual deployment. So you, those are the, the two main deployment methods that you have when you're establishing your edge locations. And as part of establishing your edge location, Equinix has gone through our own digital transformation and we have made this process as seamlessly as we possibly can. So you do have access to the, the customer portals by which you can order new services, configure new services on the fly, and turn them back down when you're done with them. There are several other services that Equinex provides that are wraparound services, things like Smart Hands, where we have technicians to, to actually go out and do physical things for you in the data center. The shipping and the receiving, how we get that equipment in, and our infrastructure services of how we actually configure the, the wiring, designing your cage, designing your environment for you. From a partner point of view, this is a, a place that our partners can, one, leverage all of these. But this is also the wraparound services is where our partners can bring uh, your own value add, whether it is a white glove shipping and receiving to where you ship it and then you white glove it all the way into the the customer's cage to where it's got an IP address on it, or the infrastructure services where you accept all of their equipment, rack it and stack it and ship full racks to us. There's, there's lots of different things here that, that our partners can, can bring to bear to, to benefit our customers. And so one of the case studies that we wanted to share with you today is a company who went through the processes that we've just been discussing. It was or is a multinational bank with locations all over the world. And so when looking with uh, where to start, they decided to start with their infrastructure. Again, as we've discussed before, uh, the network is the foundation of digital transformation. And so the first thing this uh, multinational bank did was establish this foundation in four different locations all over the world. Uh, one in North America, two in Europe, and one in Asia. Um, as you can see, uh, by deploying, they now have the ability to access all of these network service providers in these regions to establish this digital infrastructure on which they were going to build everything else upon. Now that they were built out and had this infrastructure, they had the ability to connect it 
to a digital uh, ecosystem or a digital exchange. As we mentioned earlier today, uh, who you connect to matters. So now not only did they have this infrastructure in place that gave them the uh, flexibility and scalability that they needed uh, and the ability to turn up bandwidth in hours as opposed to days, weeks, or months, they also now had the ability to turn up uh, service in the same amount of time in hours to any of the cloud service providers, uh, SaaS providers, or other financial organizations that they were doing business with. And the more of this traffic that started to come through, they realized that they, again, needed to get this closer to the end users or what we call uh, the digital edge. And so, as you can see, they now have locations all over the world leveraging the network service providers that they need uh, to turn up service in the timeframes that they need it and the ability to connect to any of the cloud service providers, SaaS providers, or any of the uh, financial organizations that they do business with. Amazing thing about this story is when COVID-19 hit, uh, they had the ability to turn up 120,000 remote workers in three days. Now, they didn't know COVID-19 was coming, uh, but what they had done was establish a digital infrastructure. They had plugged it into a digital ecosystem or a digital exchange, and they had put it as close to the end users as possible. So when COVID-19 hit, they had the ability to turn up and deliver the services that they needed. Sometimes when I talk to customers after a case study like that, the, the first statement out of their mouths would be, I'm not this huge multinational bank, so what can Equinix do for me? And what Equinix has found over the years is that this philosophy of assess, prioritize, and deploy, and deploying in this particular manner holds true and is applicable across industry and across business sizes. So here's three more real world examples from the financial services industry, manufacturing and travel and logistics. And you can see that they have three distinct challenges and different challenges across the organizations. But the solution that we applied using this methodology was actually the same solution across the board. And the outcomes for them were specific to their challenges. We were able to solve every one of those challenges. My, my favorite quote on here is the, for the first time in my IT career, we are actually ahead of the business. For um, an IT professional, that's a very comfortable place to be and it's a place that we don't get to be very often because so often we're, we're thrown these fires like COVID or new business initiatives or M&A actually having that comfort to know that you're ahead of the business and you have a solid, flexible digital infrastructure to address those business needs is a comforting place to be. Well, that wraps it up uh, for the deep uh, dive on deploy. Uh, if you've missed any of the previous ones, you can find uh, chapter one on the link provided right there. And in chapter two, optimizing for the new normal, it can also be found on the link provided. Again, uh, speaking for both Paul and myself, I want to thank you very much for your time.